Would you like to know how to upload a thumbnail for your live video on YouTube? Or are you curious on how to put a thumbnail for an event that you're gonna set up for YouTube Live later on? This is gonna be the video for you, so make sure you stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale and this is Live Streaming Tech. If you want to learn how to live stream like a pro on various platforms like YouTube, Twitch, Mixer and beyond, make sure that you subscribe and hit that little bell notification icon so that way you don't miss a single video. So you thought about live streaming over on YouTube, however you're starting to wonder how can you attach a thumbnail because obviously you can just live stream but it's not as appealing to the casual viewer who's not aware of who you are. So that's why the thumbnail is going to play a great part in dressing you up, getting it to where they're more enticed to come and watch your live stream. So there are gonna be two avenues we're gonna take a look at. So let's go ahead and take it away over here. Head over to youtube.com and in the top right hand corner, you're gonna select your profile picture and we're gonna go over into YouTube Studio Beta. On the left hand side, we're gonna go into other features and until they've actually had this ironed out, this is where it's accessible. I'm sure later on they'll probably have it listed just as we're doing here so you can follow along in that way. We're gonna go into live stream now first. We're gonna hit live events next, so make sure that you continue through this video to see how to do that because it's a little bit more complex. Live stream now. As you start to set up your live stream that you're going to stream immediately or even scheduling later on, keep in mind that it's going to auto save everything. Now I want to let you know that it's a little bit slower to the draw when it comes to updating the thumbnail. So hang in there. It won't be instantaneously like it used to. It sometimes will take a few minutes. So I might actually end up time lapsing this video so we can skip past that part. So right here below the window is going to be change thumbnail. I'm going to select that and then I'm going to select my thumbnail I want to use. Give it a moment. It says update thumbnail, uploading it and thumbnail updated. Your audience will see it in a moment. So we're going to take a brief pause. Now that it's been a few minutes and the thumbnail hasn't changed on here, typically what I like to do is I'll scroll on down and you can press control and then click on view on watch page. It'll open up in another tab and you'll see right here it actually updated my thumbnail. It is all set now. In the event that you're kind of leery and you're going, oh gosh, I'm not sure if it's there, you can always hit refresh, but if it's on the watch page, then you're all set. Bonus tip, by the way, that's also a great way to share your live event. You actually can come on over here and then you can hit the share button and then share it over through social media and grab that. But what about streaming events? We want to say plan an event a little bit further out. So this is going to be a bit more complex. You're going to want to make sure you return to YouTube Studio and then go to other features. We're going to select live events. We're going to hit new live event. Go through the whole process of filling out all of the metadata. So we're gonna go ahead and do this really fast. Okay, once the event has actually propagated here, what we're gonna do is we'll upload our thumbnail into this part right here. It says, please upload as large an image as possible. 1280 by 720 is what they recommend since the image will also be used as the preview image when your event is embedded on other sites. So if you're sharing it through, say, your website or elsewhere, then that's what's gonna show up. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure your thumbnail stays below two megabytes, which is more than enough. We're gonna go ahead and hit browse. We'll select the one that we wanna use. We'll hit open. And then if we were to take a look over here on the watch page, it should be there automatically. View on watch page. And you'll see right here on this particular event, it is all set. Now that doesn't include getting all the things dialed in, but maybe we can save that for another day. So if you're actually interested in learning a little bit more about setting up live events or the live stream now feature on YouTube, make sure you drop that down inside the comments down below. But what if you don't really know how to make a thumbnail? Good news is actually my brother Walt has a full tutorial that's dead simple and doesn't cost a dime. Check it out, I'll see you over there.